It sounds bad, but the Oceanic teams literally have no excuses anymore. We've had some great domestic finals. I mean, we have some of the fiercest rivalries. But that last hurdle of going overseas and winning never really has come through. The sea representatives have just manhandled the Chiefs in this last game. They came out swinging in the first series with a 26-minute victory. Our eSports players have been up against it. They're going up against professional players that do this full time. Our players, a lot of the time they're at home in their bedroom. I mean, they're playing part time. They have university, they have work. These guys really haven't been given the freedom, haven't been given that luxury of being able to dedicate everything to League of Legends and really become that full time professional player. This year for Oceania, it's finally an equal playing field. It's finally a fair shot. I mean, when you have a look at it, they're in gaming houses now. They've got that infrastructure behind them. They've got coaching staff. They're going to be coming into the Riot Studio on Saturday, Sunday to play those live LAN games that are so hard to emulate when you go internationally. This is really the year that everything's coming together and the professional esports players in Oceania should be able to take that next step. This definitely isn't going to be easy, but this is the first year that Oceania can compete internationally. This is the first year that they can qualify for the World Champion.